Hello everybody and welcome back to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. I'm Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks and for this video we're doing a unboxing of the Diamond Select Alien Letter Opener. Which is this beauty. So this is something I've actually wanted since they were first announced but um, price wise it was well it, it was near enough 100 pounds I think. Um, I managed to get this one on sale as um, part me um, contributing and part um, Valentine's gift from the from the missus. I haven't I haven't opened it yet. I just haven't got around to it because I wanted to do a, a video for the channel um, to show everybody what it's like. And as well as the price, one of the reasons I didn't um, buy it until until I saw it on sale was because I'd already got one of Diamond Selects. Aliens money banks, as well as um, the Alien and the Alien Covenant one. I haven't gone around to getting the Predator one yet because I haven't actually seen it in person. But because of how good these things are and how relatively cheap they are, thirty pounds compared to you know near enough hundred pounds, um, I put it off until I uh, until I saw it on sale. And of course, I've got this one here to compare that one to as well. The I don't know the details of who did these, but the um, the letter opener was sculpted by Eli Livingston and I think it's going to be slightly different yep completely different actually um, sort of sculpt and positioning but we'll uh, take a closer look shall we right let's uh, see what we're dealing with here down the back first. Initially discovered in egg form on LV426 in the year 2122, the xenomorphs were not encountered again until 57 years later when scavengers from a nearby colony Hadley's Hope came across their crashed ship. I'm not really sure the derelict counts as the aliens crashed ship but whatever. A single infection led to more with each new xenomorph incubated within a host body devastating the colony and provoking a military response from Wayland from colony owner Wayland Utani. Designed and sculpted by Eli Livingston. Styrofoam everywhere, I hate this. And this is actually quite weighty, actually. So the knife is the inner tongue with a face hugger for added thematics. To be honest, I think this was primarily the thing I was most interested in in regards to the knife opener. Like I said, you know, I've got the um, got the money bank, and that's essentially been a nice sort of cheap bust. And this is certainly lovely, very weighty, especially compared to the um, PVC. I think of the the money banks. Yeah, this feels solid. So 
So, sheathing wise, I guess, it doesn't feel massively secure when you um, when you pop it in. Still a bit of play and looseness to it. But tell me that doesn't look gorgeous. I'm not sure how well you can see it on this, but they're both painted in the sort of aliens blue fashion. But this one is much more. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nearly, nearly lost a toe then. So yeah, be careful with the uh, with the knife in it. Um, painted in a more overly blue fashion than the the money bank is. It still looks lovely. Sculpt wise, I actually really, really like this. Head profiles are cut short, obviously, neck is as well. But for me, yeah, it was really all about the, the knife. If you're after it as a bust, it's just cheaper to get the money banks. I mean, that was that was essentially why I brought this thing. You know, 30 quid. It looks fantastic. It's light. It's reasonably well painted. Not that you can probably see that well in this light in a minute, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's just so much cheaper compared to this thing. But, you know, this it is weighty. It is nice. This is a bit too loose for my liking. It's a bit of a niche sort of collector's item, I would say. But yeah, I like it. I'm glad I got it. I wouldn't have been happy paying 100 quid for it, but I think I paid 45, maybe, half price. And that, that was fine. But yeah, there we go. That is the Diamond Select Alien letter opener. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Be sure to um, subscribe and follow for any of our other content.